going on you guys and welcome back to another video guys i look so freaking trash today i am so sorry i was like i'm gonna do my makeup because i'm gonna film today but heck no guys i'm sorry but anyways today is a sad vlog guys this is the first sad vlog rt girl down guys guess what i know i think you guys already know what happened so rip rap guys that's just it that's it like rip rap can you guys believe that so let me give you guys a little story time what went okay, down guys, so let's just get straight into the story time so i actually have plans to go to banda citroca so as you guys know i was in mexico like a couple weeks ago like two weeks ago i was in mexico and that day i came back my truck was getting detailed because this wrap guys it is so freaking delicate like what i mean delicate it's delicate so it was getting detailed right and my little brother took it i landed i'm here at the shop waiting for my truck to get here he pulls up and honestly in the sun guys you cannot tell at all like it just looks like it has like a little shadow to it but you can't really tell because honestly when it's shining when i tell you guys it is crazy it's crazy like it's just literally a diamond in the street so okay in the sun you can't tell a lot my brother picked it up it was in the sun not bad whatsoever okay whatever he's pulling up in my truck and the day is how it is like right now honestly like no not like that it was just in the shade like in the shade is where you could see it really bad so he pulls up and i'm inside of like of the office and i see my truck pulling up so i'm like oh shit my truck i'm so excited i haven't had like drove my truck for like two weeks i think because i was in mexico and i come outside and it looks so good the tires like on this side on the pink side the driver's side it's perfect and then i'm like walking and i'm like my truck like so freaking loud you guys like oh my god i wish i would have recorded my reaction but oh my god that was not okay i was like my truck and my brothers come running out my brother like puts my truck in park and we go outside and they're like oh my god guys it was bad my dad starts like walking and he looks at my truck and i'm like Apa, mi troca. he was livid guys like pissed because it's bad you guys you know what i'm just gonna go show you guys the results of what happened like i said this was not intentional at all i know shit happens but what i think happened was that uh, they sprayed tire shine and it got on the wrap look you guys this, my truck is so freaking dirty right now and there's no sun so it's not shining whatsoever but ton 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 are you guys ready <gasps> ah! i know you guys so it's like you know when aceite or grasa gets on a piece of paper and it gets like really see-through? I think the black is just my color and it just, because it still has like little diamonds. I don't know if you guys can see it. It still has like the little diamond in it, but it's just see-through. So it went black. I know you guys, how sad. So, okay, let me show you guys that. Anyways, back to story time. Okay, right. So after that's what happened, you guys. So I go back to the detail shop and then whatever. They took all responsibility for it, okay. So they're like, let's just try to take it off. So we're there with water and we're just scrubbing it, you know, a little bit. And it's not coming off. And when it's wet, you can't really tell because the wrap gets a little darker when, when it's wet. So we would have to wait till it dried and it wouldn't go away. So I go straight to Sterling, guys. And, well, I had texted Hannah at first. I was like, girl, are you at the shop? And she would not reply to me. She was probably busy. And I'm like, okay, I'm pulling up. So I pull up and the obviously the employees there, they all know me. So they're like, oh, hey. So I say hi to them and I'm like, where's Austin or Hannah? And they're like, oh, they're upstairs. So I start going into the shop and then I see them. I'm like, help. And they're like, what happened? Like, they were even shook. I think I was just like going crazy, you guys. So like literally once you see me, you're like, girl, what's wrong? So like, what happened? And I was like, my truck, it's fucked up, the wrap. And then they're like, what? So they like come down the stairs. We're all running, rushing down. And Hannah, she said, she said, oh no, honey, what happened? So yeah, guys. And thankfully, shout out to Sterling's guys. They're always so freaking bugged. Like what you mean, bugged. And they were like, girl, let's slide you in. They put me in. And today, actually, I'm getting my truck rewrapped. Finally, guys, I put this thing in the garage because I, you guys see how bad it is it looks like i crashed like they're probably on the street like if they see they're gonna buy who this girl and she does not know how to drive guys this was not my fault at all oh my god but okay so yeah it's getting rewrapped 
I'm just down bad for this, guys. I have literally like three days to get it together to go on the Citrocas because that is my first event. I really, 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 really want to go to. So hopefully it happens and we're about to go to Sterling's. And yeah, you guys, just keep on going with the vlog. I'm going to show you guys how literally dirty the truck is you from here. You can tell that the wrap is super dirty. I haven't washed it yet. I just know for sure you can just wash it with water, like power wash, and that's it. You could wipe it down a little bit. Like, I'm about to show you guys right now how dirty this thing is. Like, okay, right here. You guys see this? Like, even if you go like that, like, you can see it cleaning. I don't know if you guys can tell. Like, right here, you're going to tell a lot. Watch, guys. Like, you could even see the mark right there. I don't know if you can tell, but for me, you can tell. And when, since they're rewrapping it and everything, I was like, can you guys wash my truck? And they're like, yeah. They're, so they're going to clean it up, you guys. And then I also need to get my rods fixed. I know that nothing's really wrong with them. But down here, you guys, I don't have, like, the little thread no more. And I already have, like, this one. You guys see? Maybe scraping so these, like, kind of wear off. Like, this one's already about to come off, guys. Look. Like, on this side, you guys see how it is? yeah so i already have those shout out to k design guys that's where i got my splitter from shout out to them they sent me them quicks oh my god my truck is so freaking dirty guys who is she like look at this but yeah that's pretty much my truck we down bad i mean it happens but we gotta get it show you guys how my interior is guys i love my truck when it's clean like just look at this pink seats the pink headliner pink everything guys i really want to do stars i don't know should i should i not or what should i do this is also one of my favorite things in my truck like the carbon fiber i really want to do like the whole trim right here but yeah what do you guys think cute not cute too girly not the vibes what do you guys think and guys if you guys are literally og if you know you freaking know should we bring them back like in all the colors i don't know if you can even see them good guys Oh, look, I have another one right here. Should we bring them back, you guys, with the white pearl wrap, with the black, with this new wrap? What do you guys think? Drop a comment. Guys, I forgot to tell you guys this part. So when I pulled up to Sterling's, they have, like, my films there, right? And they're like, oh, my God, well, let's check how much film we have left. And I know, I remember my silver side was bigger than my pink side like the films were bigger so i was like oh my god oh my god hopefully they have enough film to like fix that like asap you know because we don't have time for it to ship and all of that so they went to go check thankfully guys they have like the perfect amount i think to rewrap that part and then hannah was like girl you are so freaking lucky it's your silver side because i guess my pink side guys there's not much left and it takes two months for that rat film to get here so just imagine that i killed myself guys literally like two months imagine for my freaking wrap to get here because honestly i think that's like kind of what i waited for these two films because i had booked my appointment since um january i believe and they were like open till march but i was like no you know what just leave it till april when i'll get my truck wrap but just imagine that you guys it would have been my pink side our tigre would have been down bad and i don't even have a month with this wrap guys i would have freaking like died of crying i think but yeah guys let's head to sterling customs now we just pulled up to sterling's you guys guys it's so crazy how my truck looks when there's literally no sun but remember guys when i was wrapping my truck he was wrapping his car the owner of the shop look how it came out you guys this thing is so freaking badass how sick i have not seen this color it's like i don't know it's so sick like i don't know if the video captures like the real color it's like a satin chrome i don't know it's so badass so Guys, I thought I was gonna get my truck back tomorrow and Sterling's freaking got this thing ready and literally in a couple hours we back it's looking real good but guys they literally washed down my truck you can even see like some of the wet marks there shout out to them though because I was not down to wash it by myself look you guys see what I mean that it changes color like when you wet it 
yeah but thankfully everything's taken care of now we're ready for bandas y trocas what do you think Alex? Bandas y trocas. let's get it let's get it guys so we're on that banda y trocas crunch day. guys look at my old wheels these if you guys remember my tire lettering you remember these are the ones that came with my truck and they're actually chrome but i painted them black and they just been through so much but these are the ones i think i'm gonna slap on to ride to texas but I need to put thicker tires because these low pros will not make it. So I need to hit up my brother so he can get me right with some good tires so I can put them on and then switch them out over there. But I honestly really like these. I want to fix them a good because they're kind of messed up. Like they're peeling, they're ugly, but I don't plan to fix them for the road. But I do want to put them back on my truck. This is how close I am to getting anxiety attack because I'm running low on time for bandas y trocas i don't know which one of my brothers is this, but damn boys all right guys we are almost officially bandas y trocas ready these are the wheels i'm gonna put on the 285s and then i currently always have on the 265s so yeah oh, guys look at our team clothing line no what is this just like for you guys right off road our off road their off-road uniform jersey Everyone super lit oh i like this i like that super lit you guys but yeah who's all going to bandas y trocas comment down below Got the new tires on my rts installed so i can roll on those on my way to texas so let me show you guys huge shout out to my friends there at quebec street and tires for always hooking me up with some really good prices and then taking care of me by installing on my knees so huge shout out to them check them out thanks to my brother he got me literally my tires asap he was like you have to go to texas and i was still guys like indecisive if i was gonna go or not and he got me my tires and he's like no you're going so guys we're hitting up banda citro because this is my first event like out of state i'm so freaking excited see you guys in the next video which will be the banda citro video and that is going to be it for this one guys peace out